Welcome back once again, everyone, to another edition of Games You Can't Possibly Have Tried Yet. Unless, of course, you were part of our last game jam, that is. That's right. This episode is going to be about Bizarro Works built in a weekend. So if you're interested in truly under the radar things, or just wondering what you might be able to make if you set aside a hundred straight hours and built a game, then this is the episode for you. And speaking of things for you, if you've ever wanted to try your own hand at game creation, or have an idea boiling in your head that you'd like to prototype, join us for our next game jam on May 30th. It's a great place to hang, work with like-minded people, and make really interesting stuff together. But okay, enough preamble, let's get to jamming. The theme for this game jam was cycles, and people were free to read into that however they wanted. So here's some of those awesome interpretations. Eliezer. Eliezer tackles the theme by basing its mechanic around the cycle of death and rebirth, but in a humorous way, as you end up using your own skulls as platforms. Of course, skulls decay, so each puzzle requires careful planning several moves ahead to navigate all the obstacles. But the game's worth looking at for how well it handles its tutorial alone. Each time a new mechanic is introduced to the game, it gives players enough space to experiment and become familiar with it before adding more. There is no front-loading here. Granted, resetting the puzzles is a little opaque, but that was the only minor hiccup in an otherwise excellent learn-by-playing experience. <coughs> Mamma Mia! Here we go again! My, my, if Eliezer piqued your interest, but you wanted more platforming and less puzzling, you'll get a kick out of Mamma Mia, and it's less refined, but ridiculous take on the same mechanic. And actually, with a few more hours of work, this one could be glorious. But you know what? Climbing on a pile of Erzatz Marios is always good for a couple laughs. Paper Stapler Line up those papers until they're just right, and ka -chunk. That's literally all there is to this game. But if you have a hankering for some precise stapling, and let's be honest, who doesn't? It is so, so, so satisfying to see that a rating. Day Night. This bichrome game can be a bit difficult to grasp at first, but once you understand how it plays, you'll have no trouble slipping into a flow state. Black is night, orange is day, and you are the orbiting comet. The goal is to collect as many other orbs as possible, but the rub is, orbs can only be collected while you and the orb are in the same day section. Run face first into a night orb, and you're in for a world of hurt. But once you master the art of reversing direction and changing lanes, it becomes a zen-like experience, where the only negative we could find is that it doesn't go on forever. In fact, fourth wall breaking time, please, 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 make an infinite high score mode. Thanks. Rent Rush, minimum wage micro games. Survive a week of commuting and working to make rent. This game isn't just a series of fun minigames that perfectly illustrate the monotonous routine of everyday life, but also has flashes of brilliant social commentary. And the grooving music is way catchier than it has any right to be. With a little more refinement and some more minigames, this one could be a real contender. The Great Space Exploration Do you wish you could boldly go where no one has gone before? or just want to show NASA how it's done. Then the Great Space Exploration is the game for you. In this adorable game, you control a small spaceship setting out into the final frontier, hopping from planet to planet to... cabbage? Hmm. But aim carefully. Without precise calculations, you might fly right into a star or bounce too close to a supernova. And take it from me, that'll end your trip real quick. Cycles of Doom A number of Game Jam submissions we received this time around are what we're going to call programming games. These are games where you input a specific set of instructions and watch your attempted solution unfold by cycling through all the commands until either the puzzle is solved or it's not. And we liked Cycle of Doom especially because of its pixel Indiana Jones-esque art style and simple controls. Input the right commands to jump over pits, avoid spikes, get the gold, and most importantly, return to the cave's entrance alive. 
Fizz Cycle. Extreme unicycling through spikes, ball pits, and seesaws, it's trials, but on one wheel. While it's pretty trivial just to complete each level, the real mastery comes from manipulating your unicycler's precise lean and momentum to complete each level's challenges. Collect every star and worm through all the obstacles without losing your unicycler's helmet, and you, young one, will learn the way of the unicycle. Let your egg people grow into large trees. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. I, I think it takes place on a planet that looks like a jawbreaker, and every click cycles through a strange set of objects that have odd effects. Are those rain clouds which fill up holes with water? Does the water cause those green things to grow into trees? Is that the goal of the game? Is there a goal? You know what, I'm not entirely sure. But there's something hypnotically compelling about all of it, like an interactive art installation. And can we please mention the title again? If you want your game to stand out, calling it something like Let Your Egg People Grow Into Large Trees will certainly get people's attention. And with that, we wrap up things here for this latest Game Jam edition of Games You Can't Possibly Have Tried Yet. And if you'd like to try any of these games out yourself, you can find them all in the links in the description below. And lastly, thanks so much to all of the Game Jammers for your hard work and creativity. The EC crew had a blast exploring your submissions, and we can't wait to see what you all come up with for the next Game Jam on May 30th. But until then, jammy on, my wayward jams. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to work the second I started saying it. Maybe like, whoa, game jammers, jam a lamb, you're going to jam those games. Jam a lamb, you're going to impress James. Jam a lamb. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll workshop it a bit.